we are enactors bits pilani hyderabad and we unveil to you today our project urja several millennia ago during the times of the indus valley civilization engineers had mastered the art of waste control and disposal however today there is a huge problem that india is facing related to organic waste management Over 35 million metric tons of organic waste is produced in India every year, which is around 45% of the total waste produced. Organic solid waste consists of agricultural waste, household food waste, and human and animal wastes. Unfortunately, the prevailing methods of disposal of such organic waste are open dumping, landfilling, and incineration. In urban regions, massive areas serve as dumping grounds for a large portion of the city's waste. In rural areas, while organic waste used to be stored and converted into manure, with developing living standards and increasing population, this waste is disposed of and dumped or burnt in open areas. This results in two major problems. First, it affects public health. The disposed organic waste in landfills is normally broken down and decomposed to form leachate that contaminates the groundwater. It also degrades the environment. The landfills produce methane, a greenhouse gas, which is significantly more harmful than carbon dioxide. To address the issues with organic waste management, we have come up with a solution called Project Urja. Urja is a Sanskrit word that means energy. Our solution is to use organic waste to produce electricity using biogas, which is produced in a thermophilic biomethylation plant. Instead of dumping or burning this waste, it is used to generate power and fuel. we also utilize optimized scheduling to improve the efficiency of the plant in our university bits pilani hyderabad we have developed a thermophilic biomethylation plant as a part of a research project the food waste generated in the college dining hall is fed into this plant and can process 400 to 500 kilograms of food waste every day the plant can generate 120 to 140 meter cube of raw biogas from 1 ton of food waste which is equivalent to 60 to 70 kg of lpg Biogas generated is later piped to gas stoves in the dining hall kitchens. Special biogas burners are used for cooking. This creates a sustainable cyclic system. This is a short AV briefing the process flow of biomethanation digester. The first step is to bring food waste from the canteen to the location of reactor. The food waste is then weighed and add it into the shredder the ground food waste is then collected in a bin from where it is pumped into the digester Here we can see the internal structure of a digester. The gas produced flows through a pipe into the water scrubber followed by H2S scrubber and which is then collected in balloons. It takes almost 30 minutes for a balloon to fill up to its full capacity. After which a compressor is automatically switched on that compresses the gas which is then stored in, in the storage tank. Here we can see the pressure gauge the value varies from 1.6 to 1.7 kg per centimeter square the gas is then sent to the canteen where it is used for cooking the daily energy requirement of the dining hall is 300 kilowatt hours per day The capacity of the biogas power generator at Bits Pilani Hyderabad is 12 kilowatts. This runs for around 4 hours and the electrical energy generated is around 50 kilowatt hours. 
Amongst the many potential benefits of Project Urja are it provides a simple and sustainable method for an organic waste management system. Clean energy in the form of bioenergy is produced from organic waste. The electricity produced from the waste satisfies community load as well as serves as backup during the power outages. Even the residue is very useful. The undigested substrate is used as organic fertilizer after a simple bioprocess. This system teaches people to be conscious about how they dispose of the waste they generate. Our university dining hall accommodating around 2000 students generates around 1 ton of organic waste each day. Before the Urja biogas plant was installed, most of this organic waste used to go to a landfill site close to the campus. It has approximately been 700 days since the Urja plant was commissioned in our campus. During this time, we have utilized 315,000 kilograms of organic waste to produce biogas equivalent of around 44.6 million litres. This is enough to fulfil the needs of over 1,54,411 households for one entire year. Innovation First, Project Urja uses thermophilic biomethanation instead of employing mesophilic conditions. Research done by our mentor proves that thermophilic conditions provide a much better response in terms of energy recovery. Second, our project is extremely scalable. This exact same blueprint of the project can be applied to any region resulting in an amazing impact. There are over 10,000 colleges and universities across India. The canteens in these universities cater to thousands of students studying in the campus. Assuming that an average of 800 kilograms of food waste is generated per day from each of these universities, we can utilize 8 million kilograms of it every single day to produce biogas and to generate electricity. This would produce biogas equivalent to 5,60,000 kilograms every day and can satisfy the needs of 4,000 households for an year from the fuel produced in just a single day. Every year, 2.92 billion kilograms of organic waste can be used to produce biogas equivalent to 204 million kilograms and this can satisfy the fuel needs of over 1 million households for one whole year. Third, we have devised an energy management algorithm in order to schedule the usage of either biogas or grid electricity. This algorithm takes into the account the availability of biogas and the load demand profile to reduce the payload tariff. The algorithm also assists in a significant improvement in the reliability of power supply. A Raspberry Pi based smart communication scheme has been implemented for real-time communication and control of the plant. To summarize, we not only use the thermophilic biomethanation but also employ an optimization algorithm to maximize the energy retrieval and efficiency. In addition, this project when scaled will show notable results. Our project has also been featured in Fortune India and Birak Innovators Conclave. Sustainable and Replicable Project Urja presents both a very sustainable as well as a replicable system. It relies on everyday waste that's generated in every community and hence is self-sustaining. Once established, it requires minimal ongoing expenditure and very little maintenance. It is also re replicable across the globe. The problem of waste management is not unique to India alone. Globally, over 65% of the 2.12 billion metric tons of waste is organic waste. The biogas plant does not require much space for installation and hence it can be replicated across rural as well as urban areas. What next? As a first step, we have reached out to over 10 universities and large campuses in India, such as Mahu Cantonment, that have expressed a keen interest in the replication of Urja on their campuses. The idea is to use the organic waste generated in the university to generate fuel to be used for cooking in the canteens present on campus. Additionally, the electricity generated would power various common utilities like street lights, lighting in the corridors, and so on. With Project Urja, we aim to create a world where our environment does not need any protecting, where our organic waste is our power and not our frailty.